You're in 4K, by the way. Yeah. You're in 4K. What's that? <laughs> you don't even know, dude. No. <laughs> so you're probably considering installing Zero 3D LED bat blades to your uh, Harley Davidson motorcycle with a bat wing fairing. We're gonna show you how. Welcome back, Bikeaholics. Ryan Rodocker here, lawbuddingbiker.com. Thank you for checking back in. So these bat blades are a very nice addition to your Harley Davidson motorcycle with a bat wing type fairing. They are an LED strip. They run with your headlights. So when you're on your headlights on, they are on. They basically follow the contour of your bat wing fairing kind of underneath and up around the sides. And of course, we're gonna show you how to install all that. Um, and the nice thing is, uh, especially when you're facing the bike head on at night, you can really see the width of the bike, uh, just uh, kind of like clearance lights basically, and it's a very nice look. The coolest thing about these is, they're also integrated with your signals. Don't worry, super easy to install, we're gonna show you how. But basically, when I turn my signal on, I turn my left signal on, um, the white light shut down on that strip, and the top of it, up near the ears of the bat wing fairing, actually flash and give you an additional uh, uh, signal up front uh, so people will notice you more. And it's also very visible during the day. And bat blades are available for 1996 to present Harley-Davidson motorcycles with that bat wing fairing. So let's get rolling. Let's show you how to install these bat blades. All right, to remove this fairing, we're gonna start Torx 27 to remove the windshield bolts. There's three of them. He's just backing the side one all the way out. You can see he's already backed that side one out over there. He's leaving the center one in. He's just loosening it. That way your whole fairing will just kind of hang on it. On it the very end we'll take that one out. Now we'll move to the inside of the fairing. All right, on the inside of your fairing, both sides, there's two bolts, one at the top, one at the bottom, Torx 27. And that's what he started working on that top one. He's gonna finish, back it all the way out. Just remember when you put it back together, the top one is longer than the bottom one. It does make a difference. He's got the top one backed out. He'll move down and do the bottom one. And same thing on the other side. All right, and he's got the two, all the four inside ones off. He left that last one just so the fairing doesn't fall. He's loosening it. You can pop the windshield right out of there. All right, and he's just gonna back that uh, one out and this is gonna release the whole fairing. You can put a towel on your front fender so you can lay it on it. Okay, he's got that out. He'll back it out and he's supporting the fairing now. And that releases his fairing. You can rest it on the fender. Of course, we have a rag there so we can unplug the headlight. All right, and he's just unplugging the headlight in there. We are running a Zero 3D Vision X available in our store. I've done a comparison video on this channel. Make sure you check it out. It's super bright, way cheaper than the Daymaker, better than the Daymaker in our opinion. And that's what he's unplugging there. All right, so he's just pulling the strips. They come in this protective case. You just pull it out. Now there is a left and right as you were sitting on the bike and you can see that one. I don't know how well you can see, but look for it. It's very small. It says L for left. That's how we knew this one is for the left. The other one has an R on it. And with an ammonia-based glass cleaner, he's just spraying it on everywhere where these strips are gonna stick. You wanna make sure and get all the grease and fingerprints and debris off. We want good adhesion for the double-sided sticky tape. So what Rick's doing right now, just kind of mocking things up, figuring out kind of how it will look, how he wants it. Of course, the side we plug in goes to the bottom again. Make sure your left and right are correct for these. And then he can place a piece of tape when he's comfortable, kind of to mark where the top of it goes. So he's got his piece of tape and that'll mark when we take the sticky backing off exactly where he needs to position that and then he can just work it down. All right, and he's just peeling the backing off there. And then again, make sure you acclimate him right so your plug-in is at the bottom near the headlight and he's got his piece of tape there. All right, and he's just lining it up with the top of his tape there that where he knows where to start and then he'll just uh, work it down. He's just gonna lightly stick it right now. He can come back and add pressure later but this will just kind of get him in place. And he's just gonna be meticulous and run it all the way down. And you can just see him working all the way down there. And he's just kind of keeping it up to the top edge in this case, because the fairing's upside down. He's just working the seam right, right along there. If you appreciate this channel, all the videos that we put out, doesn't come without a cost. A lot of hard work, blood, sweat, and tears behind the scenes, guys. You can support us. We would love to have you as a patron member. You basically can sign up to pledge a certain amount per piece of content. No risk to you because you can put a monthly cap. There are benefits you get, such as t-shirts and stickers. You can get into our private Facebook group. That thing's blowing up up to access to our premium videos up on request. Link in the description below. Check it out. We'd love to have you join the biker revolution. All right, and then once you get it stuck on, you just go back and make sure you apply good pressure, even pressure all the way down to make sure they're stuck on there real good. And now he'll do the same exact thing to the other side. We'll get it mocked up, put a piece of tape, make sure everything's even. All right, we're over on the right side of the bike. We're gonna remove the signal bar 
two half inch bolts, one bottom, one top, very easy to come off. We need to get in there um, so that we can access our signal wire because we're gonna have to split it. And so we'll do this on both sides. He's got the bottom one out there. He's gonna move up to the top one there. And he finished the top one. And you'll see he'll kind of let this dangle, but that right there, and move his hand a little bit and I'll show you the, that's the actual plug there where we're gonna splice in. Okay, so what he's holding here, this comes in your kit. You've got two of them. It's basically to uh, split it and it'll make a Y. So that, that comes in your kit and then he's gonna move in and unplug this. And there's a little push tab on top. It's kind of a push pull. All right, now he's got that unplugged. Now he can actually put the uh, splitter in. Okay, now he's taking, just look for the little orange rubber deal and that's the side that he's gonna plug into the stock OEM signal. All right, that's plugged in. So we've got the signal hooked back up. The long end is actually gonna to go to your light strip. So just go right back through the signal hole with the long end and you can just feed everything back through the front of the fairing there. And if you appreciate all the free videos we put out, everything we do for the biker community, you can support us. You can shop for Zero 3D products right in the Law Abiding Biker store. Link in the description below. And he's just pulling through and he'll take out that slack. He's just pushing that last plug through there. All right, and then once you've got everything pushed back through, of course you can put the signal bar right back into place. And just getting his two uh, nuts back on there. With his half inch wrench, he'll just snug them down. And just finishing up the top one there with his half inch wrench. Don't need much on these tight, maybe another quarter turn. We'll do the same for the other side, the left side. All right, just for wire management, we've got the uh, strip lighting there. And he's just pulling it through. And really, this is what you do. You just pull over the fairing. We're just taping it up so that when we put the fairing back on, we don't have to really manage it. And you can see how he just bent it over, right over the fairing, taped it up, and he'll do the same for the other side. You're just going to wrap it up and over the strip lighting there and tape it on the inside. Again, this is just for wire management, so we don't have to uh, worry about it when we're putting the fairing back on. All right, so we've split it. That's our other side of the signal. Remember, we removed the signal bars. It's our left side, and then we've got the actual strip lights, of course, and he'll plug that in, make sure it clicks, and then he's gonna move to the other side, and he's got the same thing. He's gonna find his uh, strip light and the split signal wire there, pull it through the fairing, and he'll plug that one in. All right, we're putting the batwing fairing back on. All the wires are managed. There's just some tabs on the bottom. Make sure you always line the bottom up first and then you just rock the top back into place. You can kind of, you see how he's just kind of adjusting it around. There we go, he's got it started there. He's just gonna, his center bolt is all he's just gonna hand start that just kind of the, so the fairing doesn't fall back off. Don't tighten anything down until we get all the bolts in. Makes it easier to line all the holes up. All right, don't forget both sides, two bolts, one bottom, one top. Don't forget your longer one goes in the top and your shorter one goes in the bottom. Otherwise, you could poke through the front of your fairing, so make sure you get those right. All right, he just got his Torx T27 wrench, and he's just getting everything started right now. We'll actually line up the right side before we actually tighten these all the way down. All right, he go, went and snugged down the right side. He's just coming back over here with his T27, and he'll snug these down. These are just tight and a barely a quarter turn, guys. These will strip out really easy. So just, just a little bit snug is fine. All right, he's just popping his windshield into place, getting everything lined up. All right, and he's got them all finger started and now you can just go around and with a T27, we're just gonna barely get them snug. A lot of guys strip these out, so just barely snug. Your windshield will be just fine. Make sure and subscribe to this channel. Every time that subscribe button is hit, another biker joins the revolution. Thumbs up, like it, share it with all your biker friends. I hope you're well. And I definitely hope you are out there getting some riding in. What you looking for? These nuts. <laughs> These nuts. What are you waiting for? Hit that subscribe button already. I'm not going away till you hit it. Join the biker revolution. Everybody's doing it.